everyone, Edward here and welcome to Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do when the Microsoft Store keeps crashing on Windows 11. The first and easiest solution you should start with is to clear the Microsoft Store cache. To do this press the Windows button then type wsreset.exe and select it from the search results as a command. A blank window will appear and the command will run for a few seconds, so don't panic and don't close that window because the store will reset and then it will come back to normal. After that, Microsoft Store will open automatically. You can also run the dedicated troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon. Afterwards, select the system option from the left pane, then choose troubleshoot from the right pane. Now click on other troubleshooters and scroll way down until you find the Windows Store apps and then click on the run button right by its side. The system will start scanning for any potential problems within the Windows apps, including Microsoft Store, and if it finds any, it will address them. Another great solution is to use a PowerShell command. To do this, right-click the Windows button, then select the Windows Terminal as an administrator. Now paste the following command that I also put in the description below and press Enter to run it. Afterwards, close the PowerShell, then click on the Windows button, select the Power button and then choose to restart. After the reboot, try to open Microsoft Store again and see if it works. You can also repair and reset the Microsoft Store. Click on the Start button, then select the Settings icon, then choose Apps on the left pane and then click on Apps and Features on the right pane. In here, scroll down until you find Microsoft Store, then click on the three vertical dots right by its side. Then select Advanced Options. Now you have to scroll down until you find the Reset section and click on the Repair button. Wait for the process to finish and check Microsoft Store again. And if it still has issues, click on the Reset button as well. However, this will delete all the app data in the process, including the sign-in details. And lastly, you can also install the latest Windows updates. Press the Windows button, then type Update and select the Check for Updates option from the list. Now just press on the Check for Updates button and wait for Windows to assess if there are any updates to apply. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.